So, um, before I start getting into this video, I just want to note that all qualities I'm about to talk about are not things that I'm judging other people for, it's solely things that I beat myself up about. So if I say there's a certain quality about myself that I don't like or that I'm worried about, I'm not saying in any way that it is objectively bad um, or that if you have that or like it or whatever that you're bad or something, just that that's how I feel about myself. Um, and I'm already really nervous about making this because I feel gross, so just be nice, okay? Okay, let's go. So, um, I wanted to talk about my insecurities today because I have been going through one of my depression and anxiety periods where I am just feeling like absolute shit about everything. So I thought probably other people feel that way sometimes too and maybe if we just like get it all out there it'll be less bad feeling i don't know i didn't really think this through i came up with this idea last night when i was fairly upset so we'll see how this goes okay so things i'm insecure about um some of these come directly from or are related to my disabilities and some of them are just purely physical uh, but I think they kind of tie in together. So for example, the, well, I say physical, but obviously my disability is physical, so I don't know what I mean by that. Aesthetic, I think I mean aesthetic. So aesthetically speaking, um, I noticed that once I got sick, I started to focus more on my aesthetics because that was all that I had left to control in my life. Um, so it my life was very chaotic right so i was ending up in the hospital a lot and my body was just going absolutely insane there would be days where i couldn't control certain parts of my body um there would be days when parts of my body wouldn't work there would be days when i just it would just go haywire and i'm someone who very much likes to be in control as much as possible um so i think i sort of took all of that and focused it on the only things that I could control, which were clothing, um, makeup, and hair. And then I lost all my hair, so that was great. So let's start there. So uh, the winter of 2017 to 2018, I guess it would be, yeah, um, my hair started falling out in clumps, and we don't know why. And that was pretty stressful for me because I've always been pretty insecure about my hair. My hair gets greasy quite easily, as you can kind of tell in this video. Um, and I've always thought it didn't look good. So I wore hats a lot, like a lot. Um, once I got out of high school and I was allowed to wear hats. So like if you see pictures of me in Austria, I'm almost always wearing some type of hat. Um, and at the same time, I would be obsessed with uh, dyeing or cutting my hair because I would get this feeling that I needed to like escape my life or change something. And the only thing I could do safely was change my hair. So I did that a lot too. So to have it fall out um, was pretty hard for me. And it was just like the cherry on top of a really, really shit cake. So at that time I had also been experiencing um, involuntary bodily movements, I think is what you would call them. So I would have parts of my body just jerk. Um, so maybe I'm holding something and then it just go like that. And then, you know, I drop whatever I held or, um, sometimes muscles. Uh, I remember that Christmas, Christmas day, the muscle in my knee, um, if I can show, like here was just pulsing for about an hour and I didn't know why and it wouldn't stop. It was just like boom, 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 boom. Very weird. So that wasn't great. Um, and I was getting more and more upset every time I, I started to hate taking showers because when I showered, just clumps of my hair would come out and it would make me really upset. So, um, I decided to shave my head because I thought, okay, we're gonna control it. So I can't be upset about my hair falling out if I don't have any hair, right? So I did that and got a wig and that helped for a while, but wigs are still um, pretty difficult to control. So even when I'm wearing a wig, I'm very worried. Like, does it look okay? Is any of my hair showing? Uh, it's a very anxiety creating thing, but at the same time, if I'm not wearing a wig, I feel very, um, insecure. Uh, it's the same with makeup to some extent, so I'm very self-conscious about my skin. Uh, apparently my skin isn't that bad, but I personally get very um, hung up on breakups and things, so I wear makeup. And I like wearing makeup, like it's a twofold thing. I like wearing makeup because I like 
doing things to my face, but I also do feel very uncomfortable if I'm not wearing makeup. So in past videos, if I, if I look like this basically, so no makeup, no wig, anything like that, it's probably because I was too sick or too tired to care. So the fact that I'm like that today, um, uh, I mean, not wearing anything like that is making me very uncomfortable and I'm very, I'm gonna have a terrible time editing this, I know it because I'm gonna be looking at my face and I'll be like, oh my God, um, you know, you have a blemish here and your hair looks ridiculous and whatever. But I'm trying to show myself and to other people that the world isn't going to end if I don't put on a full face and wear a wig, right? Um, it's, it's more important what you say than how you look. I mean, if you want to look good, that's great. If you don't, that's fine too. And by look good, I mean like put on tons of makeup and things like that. I think a lot of people look beautiful without makeup too. Um, I actually think everyone does. It's mostly me. I, like I said, this criticism is all completely directed at myself. I don't judge people who aren't myself like this at all. Um, I think it's a very specific thing that happens to a lot of people that you take every nasty criticizing thought and you just put it in words. Um, so yeah, that's, that's how I am anyway. So, okay, we have hair, we have that. Um, food, I have issues with food. I don't, it's a chore for me to cook slightly because of energy, but also because I just get worried about uh, gaining weight, I guess. And I think that partially came from when I was, quite young, I had a very, very, very high metabolism to the point where I was dangerously underweight. Um, until I was about 12, you could count every rib on my body. And I ate like normally, uh, so it shouldn't have been a problem. But then obviously that slowed down when I got older. And even now, like I'm totally in a healthy weight, uh, so there shouldn't be any concern, but I just have this, this fear. And I've never liked exercising or anything like that but it's just one more thing that I can't do because I always thought, okay, if I gain too much weight, you know, it's not that hard to exercise, you know, modify your diet, but now it's harder for me to exercise because of pain and stuff. So that's just one more thing that I can't control. So I like, I think part of it is also, um, I kind of don't listen to my body because my body hurts so much. So I've just unconsciously stopped listening to any of the signals. So I don't always get, I get hungry, um, but maybe not like other people do. I think it takes longer for me to get hungry. So I have reminders to eat and things like that. But even then when I'm eating, I just think like, you know, is this healthy? Is it, is it right? But at the same time, I don't like things like vegetables. Uh, I think I, I, mm, taste is hard for me. Uh, I don't like a lot of things and I don't know if that's a picky eater thing or it's because of autism or just me I don't know um but yeah and then eating out with people is quite stressful because I'm like are they gonna notice that I ask for things off like like um certain things not in the meal or um are they gonna think about what I'm eating and I know on some level that people don't but at the same time that fear is always there um so that's the thing. Um, just using my mobility aids in public, I do get worried sometimes what people are gonna say because it's true, people say shit about it. Um, people make jokes about it. Uh, people just stare at you and that's hard if you're already anxious to have people you know, staring at you even more. Um, that's not great. So I think the reason I dress i try when i go out i try to dress very nicely and like i said full face and wig and everything because i want to pretend um that people are looking at me because they're jealous of my outfit or they like my outfit not because they're confused about why someone as young as i am is in a wheelchair and partially it's for me as well like i don't do this all for other people i really do like wearing you know freely dresses and top hats and things like that it's not it's, it's not like I don't like wearing it and I only do it for the benefit of the public, but I will say that it is nice on some level to be able to pretend that that's why they're looking at you, you know? I don't... This video is super rambly and I thought if I just got it all out that it would um, make me feel better and help people who are maybe going through the same thing and I'm not sure if it will or not. 
um but i hope it will like shit i hope it does i don't know i have plenty of other insecurities like i'm embarrassed by the fact that i'm hyper vigilant from the ptsd so i get embarrassed when i jump really loud jump you don't jump loudly jump violently at like a loud sound or when I don't understand things um, from the autism that somebody thinks is really normal and everybody's laughing because it's a joke or whatever. And I'm just there like, what? I don't, I don't, I don't understand. Um, I get insecure if I don't have perfect grades because I, being smart was how I was defined when I was a child by my peers. Um, so that's something that I need to get out of the habit of. Like the first time I got an F, I wept and this was in Austria it was a calculus test which I had never studied in German and I was crying and then I was like what are you doing this there's no need to cry it's a subject you haven't studied in a language you at that point don't speak um but even now if I'm like less than perfect I don't know and I know perfection perfection isn't like possible right and I know that I think there's it's like there's two different sides that are battling inside me. There's one that's very like rational and logical and is like, okay, that's not possible. You know that, blah, blah, blah. But then there's the other more visceral part of me that's like, no, you have to be perfect. You have to look perfect and you have to have perfect grades. And, you know, you have to make up for all this because that, of course, is my biggest fear of all, that being disabled makes me a burden on everyone. And I think that's something that everybody has if you're if you have some kind of condition but it's not talked about so I'll just put it out there I am terrified of being a burden on friends and family and I'm terrified that no one will love me because of it this video is really real isn't it holy shit um yeah uh I'm not going to cry on camera because I also don't like crying in front of people so that's not gonna happen but yeah, whoo, whoo, okay. So, I don't quite know what point I was trying to make here. I guess I'm just trying to show that no matter how happy somebody looks, they can have these insecurities and that's totally normal, but at the same time, it's important to remember not to let the insecurities rule your life. And I'm losing my voice now, that's weird. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so it's important to acknowledge that you have these insecurities and try to um, defeat them as much as you can because obviously being ruled by them and stuff isn't healthy. But yeah, just they're there. And I think, I don't know, this isn't like a fishing for compliments video or anything. I just kind of wanted to get out some of the things I've been thinking recently because I think whenever I watch videos where people do this, it makes me feel, you know, more normal, less alone, because you know other people feel that way, even though it kind of sucks at the same time because you don't want anyone else to feel that way. So yeah, this was very rambly, uh, but if it can make at least one person's day better, then um, I will be happy. Besides that, uh, Next week's video will probably be a little bit late because I will be in Disney World and I'm hoping to put up a Disney World vlog, but I won't be back until Monday, so we'll see how that goes. But yeah, if you made it to the end of this, um, thanks for watching. I hope I didn't totally depress you and I will see you guys next week, so bye. Mm -hmm.